What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. I'm one of your hosts, and I'm also co-hosting with Jesse and Mike. Oh, hi. And we're here, we're here today <laughs> because we're about to uh, give you one of our first new videos. This is our uh, first What If video where we ask the question, what if, about our favorite shows. Today we're talking about The Walking Dead and what if Shane didn't die? Hmm? Hmm? Have you thought about that? Well, we have, sort of, and we're going to talk about it now. <laughs> sort of. Right? Sort of. Uh, sort of. Guys, so the question is, what if Shane didn't die? Now, full disclosure, there's a couple different paths this could go. So in this video, we're going to talk about what if Shane didn't die and he didn't kill Rick. Because we know that would be the first comment we got is, well, he would kill Rick. And then, okay. Yeah. So we're going down the path. <laughs> they both come out of the woods together right. after the whole Randall situation. So we're, well. we're yeah, they're holding hands, singing kumbaya. Yeah. So yeah. Th that's the point. We're in season two. All right. We're in the the season two finale where it's Shane Rick showdown. What if Rick doesn't stab him? He doesn't shoot him. Boom. So what'll happen? So who wants to go first? Jump in here. Mike. You want me to go first, Jess? All right. I want to hear uh, well, your opinion on this. This is a tough one because we see we see how much animosity was was coming between you know Rick and Shane to begin with that led them out into the woods and the whole Randall situation. But yeah, so I think right off the bat with all the animosity between the two characters, hopefully there could be some kind of reconciliation if in fact Shane does uh, survive the trip in the woods. But we do remember all the zombies coming from the woods, so we would see the burning of the barn. We would see how these, you know, these these characters would now take on these horde of zombies coming. So hopefully, if that was the case, Shane would be jumping into the car with Herschel and and Carl, and uh, to go into the future. I think that there would be no, there would be nothing. Um, eventually, the confrontation would be there. I think Shane, being the hothead he is, would always still force his his um, relationship with Laurie. I think that it would definitely be at odds, no matter how much Rick would want to um, try to tone down and try to make men amends with with Shane. I don't I think that they would totally be um, there would be no way that that bond would be able to be uh, mended. And eventually I can see Shane becoming one of these governor, one of these um, Negan types. Uh, we see in mm -hmm. the past, yeah. we see, you know, we, we notice all the change in Shane. And we notice that he always felt um, that Rick wasn't the man for the job. And I can definitely see um, Shane leaving. I could. That's a, um, you know, that's actually a really good like idea. But yeah, I mean, that's a, that's, I never without, actually considered without, that he would become. Right? Yeah, I I kind of he agree with that. that actually, Negan. I would probably see him. I think he would become okay. I, he's not a megalomaniac, and I don't think he needs people. This is the difference between the, mm. Negan and the governor. I don't think he needs people around him, but yeah. I think people will follow him because he's tough. And I think he would want people to follow him. I think once people were like, you know what, Shane, yeah. Like, you know, let's just say he, he, he let's just say he went to, they got to the prison. He didn't like what was going down. It was going to come down to him or Rick again. I think you're right. I think he would leave. I think he'd be out on his own, but he obviously would find people. And they, because he's a strong alpha type, you know, he's a type A alpha person. People will be like, oh, can I come with you? And then he'll end up having his own grouping. Yeah. But he yeah, would, I would, most likely he would, there would be people from the prison or, you know, whatever that would, like you said, would follow him. Shit. Um, that yeah, would, damn. you know, how many people, how many people question Rick to begin with, yeah. you know, even after that, look at, look at, look at the whole Rick Tatorship part of, of the show after they escaped the, the, the farm. Well, he became a little you know? more like Shane because he saw the, he saw the he, value in being that type of exactly. personality and to be exactly. a leader. Yeah. So Jesse, I could totally think, see, man? yeah, I could totally see him becoming like that Negan kind of guy. So I'm going to throw a wrench in your whole story there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if they walk out of the woods and, you know, there's no gunfire or yeah. stabbing, yeah. the horde wouldn't be there. So they could continue living on the farm for who knows how long. That's true. That's true. Except Shane. Because Herschel wanted Shane off his land. 
So Shane would be outcast, and I'm pretty sure they'd stay at the farm for a while until Shane came back with a group to take over the farm. God, and it's like, you know, God damn it, That's Shane. That's true, see? Uh, yeah, you know, see? It's like, no matter what you do, Shane, you're fucking things up yep. because you just yep. can't get along with him. He anybody. had to open the barn, and when he opened the barn, he sealed his fate. God damn it, he there's another one. At, yeah, what would happen? He couldn't have stayed at the farm, yep. so he had to go off. He got himself a group, probably or... ended up in Woodbury. He knew where the farm was. They went to the farm, took over the farm. Daryl and Merle are back together, but Daryl's like a captive, something like that. Who knows? But what do you think? <laughs> but wouldn't, but maybe wouldn't, instead of being outcast, would he be like, well, fuck you, Herschel. I'm saying you get the fuck out. No. Herschel would well, have made him off the land. You think he would have respected Herschel, though, yeah. enough to get off the land? He would have respected Rick's order to say, you got to follow what he says. Uh, but... Uh... That's Maybe. where that's where the butting heads would would never. I mean, see, it just that. doesn't. Yeah, there's just it doesn't I, it's stop. So crazy. Because so if be... Shane didn't die at that moment, he would have died further. Died, <laughs> but do you still he agree? Died somewhere else. Just do yeah. you do you still agree though that he if it, okay he, either way if he'd the leave the group stuff still happened yeah. and then he would and then he would get a following one way or another. Either he'd have to leave the group or he'd have to you know leave the farm. It doesn't matter. He'd have to leave anyway. Shit. So yeah, he'd get a following, or he might even go to the Woodbury and so he wouldn't take even over. Make Woodbury. it to the prison, you think? Yeah, yeah. I don't why know, would but... they? But why would they leave? Right? Why would they leave? Like the only reason they'd leave is if Shane came back. Well, no, but with... I'm saying what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you said, there's no initial reason. Yeah, for there's the no Ward to taking over yeah. the farm or anything. So yeah, yeah. So you made a good point there. I didn't. Even, I totally didn't even think it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, who knows if that gunshot? If Rick doesn't shoot, you well, know Carl. I mean? If Carl didn't shoot. I mean, yeah, no, it was initially uh, no, it was uh, Shane shooting. Shane shot, yeah. yeah. What was that? Shane shot when Rick stabbed him. No, Shane shot. Um, shot up in the air. Remember? See, that's, this is like. Rick stabs him and the gun goes off. Yeah. And then Carl's that's there right. and he shoots that's right. Shane, and then that's which when we draws saw the walkers faster. Walkers, exactly. Yeah, so maybe so they Shane never attracted went them. Because they, still be, they were planning on staying on the farm. Yeah, they were planning on staying on they the farm. They could have been on Herschel the farm. even agreed. Yeah, but Shane has to go. Damn. I mean, we're not going to get it. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, that so... could be another what if video, like what would well, happen the on the farm. shot never goes off, and they live happily Damn, ever after. Damn, that's crazy. Farm, but okay, so I don't know. I, yeah, well, they I think... would have lived happily ever after, of course, because yeah. Shane no, would have but... got exiled, come back, taken over the farm, or killed everybody. Who knows? Yeah. Except Lori would have had his princess Leia with her. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and maybe yeah, Judith would have had her potential actual father See, that's yeah. a big thing that's a big thing because he would have Jude thing yeah if if that turned out the same way where they're in the prison together and shane was still there imagine that's my baby that's yeah, exactly my... oh my god see so no matter <laughs> no matter what, what you do shane you're fucking clash. you just can't yeah. get along yeah damn there it. would be a clash but if he did leave before the whole birth of judith and I can see it going two ways, like you said, Chris, that Shane had the potential to, to be a loner, to be by himself. Yeah. But he had so much more strength, and people could see a leadership in him. And that he, he people would, fo people people would, would just would, follow, yeah. flock to him. Once exactly. They, especially, you know, that happens in normal life, and it's, yeah. in, it's enhanced and mm -hmm. increased the strong survive like and a billion a times over. Yeah, to you know, to to go with those. That's why Negan has that following because they're afraid and they just and they want someone to, to tell strong. them what to do. It's it becomes yeah. a, we become a pack again. Is basically what happens. Crap. Yeah. Okay, so um, interesting theory though. Yeah, and it, it's kind of a hard reach, but if Shane had survived, and for some reason they had to assault Woodbury. I think that scene where Rick shoots Shane in Woodbury yeah. would have happened also. Yeah. Either way, I think it would have to come down. Or I think, I, I mean, you could even Someone go, would have had to kill one or the other. You could, Yeah, you could go far as to say that Shane would even, uh, he would take out the governor. Like, he wouldn't put up with that shit. I think he would immediately no, That's go what in. I'm saying. He's probably going to take over Woodbury. Right, well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Or terminus. Yeah, they, mean, not, they, terminus. they wouldn't be a potential meeting between the, the governor like he had with Rick with Shane. You know what yeah, I mean? No. You see, but that's Shane, the problem. Shane. If you if you did these things, if you did, if you were impulsive like Shane was, it wouldn't. Like Rick would have walked in there and stabbed the governor in the throat. Done. Bye. Goodbye. Done. We're done with you. No more. You know what I mean? Huh? Like 
that's what Rick didn't have until later. Well, but the thing is, too, remember who was outside of the meeting. That doesn't matter. I, Shane doesn't well, give a shit. Everybody would have been killed. They Shane is a honey badger. He don't give a shit, bro. Yeah, well. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, true. he don't yeah. care. He yeah, would have no, had a he, he would have he would have had a plan for that because would that would have happened. Would die. Then he then would have then would die. Milton would have died. Um, yeah, but they would have you know what's his name would have come running in, and he would have killed that guy too, yeah. right? But he would have put see Martinez. that's, a, that's Martinez. a big difference. Rick won't put other people. No, but that's my at point. That's, Forget yeah, Rick. Know? I'm saying that's what Shane Shane would have and had Shane a would, plan for Shane, that. He would have a hothead. He would have went in not telling anyone anything and been like. You know, but that's the thing. He wouldn't that that meeting would never have happened. It would have been he would have met the governor. He would have decided on his own whether the governor was fit to be that person. Yeah. Given him, he would have like you. He would have like you call yourself a governor. What you, what are you? You're not even a governor. You know what I mean? Like you weren't even law enforcement. You know, I was law enforcement. Yeah. Like he would have been like fuck you. You're not fit to be what you think you are. I'm fucking killing you. Would have come up you. with a plan. Maybe we would have come up with a plan to take it. Yeah, kill yeah. the governor when he meets. That's his. That's what I'm trying to say. That's his yeah. plan. Yeah. Rick, Just we've got it. to kill the governor. Yeah, we need to go in there. Well, Woodbury will be ours or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I think I think I think we've given everyone enough yeah. food for thought, guys. Why don't you let us know? I think I you... threw enough wrenches in the plan. You did, and and, and it's great because I didn't see this coming at all. I had a whole different theory, which I'm not even going to say anymore because mine is. <laughs> This doesn't even matter now. Um, but guys, let us know in the comments what you think would happen if Rick survived. I'm sorry, if Shane survived Survive. and Rick and he didn't kill Rick. Survive. That's that's what this track was going on. So so let us know what you guys think. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what you guys thought. And uh, I think that's going to do it on this first episode of What If. Definitely. Yep. Definitely going to do it. And we have a word from our friends at Comic Blitz. So, do you ever find yourself lacking comics, Chris? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mike? <laughs> of With course. your comic book holder. That's safe. All right. So, our friends over at Comic Blitz have this amazing deal where you can get three months for a dollar a month, grand total of three dollars for the whole three months. First three months, three bucks. For unlimited comics, or if for some reason you don't want unlimited and you're wanting a limited amount, which is ten, you can go with that deal too. But after three months, you go back to the uh, respective prices of three ninety nine or seven ninety nine. So, eh. but they have over four thousand five hundred comics at your disposal with names such as Transformers, GI Joe, James Bond, Ninjak, and My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, a whole lot of comics for a great deal. So go check them out. Use our code Third Person Pod. Get yourself some comics. Yep. Get yourself some comics. That's what it is. That's gonna comic Blitz. Us. Yeah, Comic Blitz. That's going to do it for us here. Comic. Third person, thank you for watching this episode of What If. Let us know what you think. Bye. Bye. <laughs>